Well, there's ten years of my life I don't have to worry about. <laughs> what are you doing at A little sleuthing at Eden's behest, of course. Uh-huh. And what did you find? Oh, lots. A pack of stale chewing gum and uh, what appear to be marital aids. Ooh. I'd wash my hands if I were you. Yeah, I already did. How about you and the elusive boomer? Any luck there? No. At the risk of you saying I told you so. Never. Huh. Well, turns out the boomer and Scott are one and the same, except he doesn't remember anything that happened with Hal Clark, and Cruz is going to ask him some more questions, but I don't think it'll do any good. I think it's time you and I stop playing Nick and Nora Charles. And let Keith bring this one home on his own? Forget it. Besides, there's too much at stake. Your parents are involved. Sometimes I think there's a good case to be made for being an orphan. Anyway, these two are up to something, and I want to know what it is. Hmm. You know, Cruz says they found some bones down at the boathouse. Maybe they belong to Hal Clark. And Keith has them, and he's probably going to use them as blackmail. Where did you say Keith was, anyway? Uh, I didn't say, and I have no idea, but... Now, just remember, there's some place I have to be. I'll Hi. call you later, huh? Darling. Mason. Yes. I'll confirm the amount by telex, but I want you to go ahead and uh, transfer one million Swiss francs to my personal account. No, I need a dumb in the business today. There'll be one more transfer of uh, one more million dollars in a day or so. You see that it's done. Secretary told me to come right in. So, uh, CC. Talk to 